Do you, uh, Don't pick a box, any box. Okay. I'll let you pick. Well, you pick a few. Have. Yeah, whatever you want. Well, I'm going to try to... Where's 12 P mean? That's my apartment. Oh, definitely don't say the addresses and stuff. Mine, everybody knows, but, <laughs> so that's okay. But the other, uh, the seller's address you don't want um, on camera. <laughs> so I opened up, this is the first box, which is films. Big films. I had no clue it would be that big. Oh, this one actually Amanda's going to work on later because one film is small and easy and that one is... Hold on, let me read it with my glasses because then I can actually read it. <laughs> so this one is The Great Magician. Paul, if you're still there, it's a Woody Woodpecker. Uh, the Great Magician because we're doing for Halloween, we're doing a spirit show. So I'm going to show this Woody Woodpecker by Walter Lance, who is an Italian-American. And this film is a preview reel with a lot of previews. So I did make a list of the previews for you really quick. Uh, so uh, one is, believe it or not, Jack Kerouac, uh, the film. One is Betty Boop, uh, a Betty Boop film. I know Paul will appreciate that. Um, and then, of course, The Great Magician. And there's nine, but I don't, I don't have all of them listed down here. One is, uh, I can't really show this one tonight, or probably ever. It's not Flash Gordon, it's Flesh Gordon. Gordon yeah. yeah, that one. Uh, we do have an adult show, and that one's for the adult show, and the other one's for the adult show, too. It's Alice in Wonderland. What? Why would that be for an adult show? They made a musical, Alice in Wonderland, and it was risque beyond belief, but it's also hysterical. It made this uh, star, uh, Christine DeBell, into a huge star, and she became a normal actress after doing these risque films, and the film is really ridiculous. It, it's so ridiculous. It's a, it's, a, it's a risque film musical. I think it's the only like porn musical, I think, from what I know. But it's it's really and they used Alice in Wonderland as the view. Um, so then you opened up a pack of M and M's. A pack of M and M's. Why? No, this one. Yeah. That's not M and M's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was in that box. That's why. Uh, How exciting! <laughs> I know, right? So this uh, this is perfect for Ira to open up because he's brilliant and a techie, and these are actually the exciter lights for the projector, this is what reads the sound. There's a light in that, it, for optical sound, it uses this special light. So there's two lights in an optical projector. One light shows the film here, but whenever you're hearing sound, this light is actually illuminating a track on the film. So on this film, where there isn't holes, there's an optical track and it actually looks like a sound wave. It's a picture of the sound wave. So someone has to illuminate that picture Something has to illuminate it. That's these lights. So I bought extras. These work in my projectors. So this is crucial because they don't make them anymore. So it's very important. And I was excited. I was excited to open that one. Open that one really nicely. Um, so this one, Cesar opened up. Uh, Cesar is my dear, dear, dear friend who's also extremely brilliant. And he opened up the coolest stuff. These are birthday records and regular records uh, for our. And these are wood. These are cardboard. This was the one that I wanted the most. Ironically, it's Alice in Wonderland again, but this is uh, uh, meant for kids. So this is a good one. Awesome. Um, awesome. Yeah, very. Oh, my God. There's a ton of birthday records here. Um, so these are all the Disney ones. Or it plays the birthday song? Uh, yeah, and it plays the birthday song. So I know that tonight we did uh, my friend uh, Gary's birthday. Uh, we could have done it with one of these uh, birthday records because uh, he wanted Disney, he wanted Mickey Mouse. Even though it technically it's his birthday anniversary. Yes, his exactly. He only has and, one birthday. And to add to your, to your funny, uh, funny joke, uh, I think we should celebrate the day before our birthday because the day of our birthday we're older and everyone wants to be younger. So I think you should celebrate the day before because it's the last day you're 29. The next day you're 30. So like you should that should be like 1999. You should celebrate like wow. And we, you know? we, get, we get sing the song forever young. 
Exactly, which I think I have that somewhere on my 45 list. I didn't play it on my cello. Oh, that's right, you played cello. I forgot about that. There's one more. I'll let you open that, and awesome. he's got this one. Wow. So this is Incredible. a, um, <laughs> this is a Scopey Tone film, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. We. Oui. Yes, it is. This is a very, very uh, cool one called The Nose. You got that, Foo? Yeah, The Nose. The Nose of the Figaro or just The Nose? <laughs> My nickname for her in the back is The Nose. So yeah, Ira opened up The Nose. This was the one you were supposed to open. You know that, right? <laughs> so this is another Scopey Tone film from those machines that, oh, I can't show the guy's address, but it, it's a cool box. Um, from those machines that were film jukeboxes. So uh, this one's on a core as opposed to a reel. And cores were cheaper than reels. So often you would put things on a core instead of a reel to save money because cores were like no money and those things were a couple of dollars. Um, so, but I have, and you have to put it in a special um, split reel to play a core, which I have a few of them. And Scopey Tones, uh, I mentioned in the last one, but for this one, it's a film jukebox that cost a quarter and played 16 millimeter films. That was my segue until you open up this. Oh, this is perfect for you. Yes. This is a Mod Odyssey. And do you know what that is? Wow. A Mod Odyssey is the Beatles. This Odyssey. is a documentary on Yellow Submarine, the Mod Odyssey. How cool is that? So on 16 millimeter film. Perfect. That's a really, really cool one for Cesar to open. Yeah. Uh, okay. In baseball. So, and that came in there? Um, no, this, this oh, is that the... Um, yeah, so this came... Oh, I see it. This yeah. is the... Um, okay. Yeah. So that's it. We did great. all of them except for this one little cute sticker that someone shoved inside there just because yeah. they shoved it inside there. Don't ask me what that sticker is for, but I totally groove on it. I'll probably put it on my nose. Okay, okay. so the next film uh, is, and how are we doing with time anyway? We're at 9.51. This is the last film because I wanted to end on a fun, cool note. This is Dog Gone Modern. <laughs> so it's kind of a fun, modern film. And I'll say bye to those people. Bye, humans.